pay your attention, please. Welcome, 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 and thank you for coming this morning. We appreciate all of you being here to participate in us breaking the ground of this frozen soil outside to build our new city hall. There will be a brief welcome, and then Commissioner Tim Jeffers will give an invocation and bless this site, and then the mayor will have some remarks, and the ceremony for the groundbreaking will begin after that. This new building is the possibility through many efforts, and this morning we're honoring those efforts and your participation in this ceremony. Legacy is the key word I thought of using this morning. Legacy because George Rump Construction helped us to renovate the old city hall 35 years ago, and now they are the general trades contractor building the new city hall. George Rump Construction has that legacy. We all have that legacy that we're bringing to this site, to this building. People that have been involved in the past and helped us with our advice and mentoring us and bringing us to this point. And then all of us being involved in the legacy that will continue with the new city hall construction. This new building was approved by the city council and we're very appreciative to the Mayor Dave Mingus and commissioners Tim Jeffers, Dan Decker, Gary Densberger, and Chad Jose. This building will consolidate four offices in a new city hall. Everybody that's at the present city hall, plus we will be able to bring back people we had to spin off as we had constraints for space. And we will bring back our human resources department, which is at East Side Center, our IT information technology, which is at the Felipe building, and our building and inspections department, which is in a garage behind public safety. We'll all be in the new city hall to serve people better and to be able to serve ourselves and collaborate and be more creative for all of us in the community. We want to thank our architects, PCM plus D, Will Helmick, Stacy Kidd, Jim Hollenbeck, thank you for a beautiful layout, a beautiful design. We want to thank the committee of City Hall staff and others in the city that helped to lay out the collaborations in the offices and the, the adjacencies so that people could work together and there'd be, you know, lots of creativity. Steve Ferguson, Ty Livingston, Terry Gulanti, Michelle Brooke, Morgan Cadwallader, Robert Cole, Diane Lauterbach, Matt Berger, Karen Doolin, Teresa Durham, thank you, thank you. This building is overseen by engineers and architects and owner's representatives. Thank you, Midwest Construction Professionals. Thank you, Chris Tyra, Scott Kelsey, Roger Hess. And so we chose this morning as our groundbreaking so that we could have our construction contractors involved in this effort. We just had a meeting with the construction crew that includes Dan Muno, George Rump Construction Company, the legacy contractor I mentioned earlier, Otto Baum, J.C. Dillon, the PIPCO companies, Foster Jacob Electric, Automatic Fire Sprinkler, Hanson Professional Engineering, Nap Concrete, and Midwest Engineering are all here to participate in this and we appreciate your involvement in this new construction. Thank you. Thank you all for being here this morning. And now, Commissioner Tim Jeffers to bless this site with his invocation. Commissioner. I commented to uh, my fellow commissioners that now I can throw away my spreadsheets and my talking points for City Hall because it's going to begin. We're past the phase of the talking about it. Now we get to do it. Uh, would you bow your heads with me as we pray uh, this morning? I appreciate your presence here. Let's ask God to look down upon us. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to meet this morning as we look forward to the construction of our, our new city hall. We bless the, the, the ground, ask your blessing on the grounds here around us. And we thank you for uh, watching over us these past many, many years. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that uh, many have gone before us. And as we think about that, your scripture confirms that 
you have set the time and place for every man and, wo and, and woman to be living. Not just the place, but the time, but yet we acknowledge those to have gone before uh, previous councils, uh, previous city leaders, the community as a whole. Uh, we, uh, we very humbly and gratefully say thank you for allowing us this day to be uh, participants in this very special day. And we acknowledge you and, and humbly ask your blessing as we move forward from this time. May we realize and look uh, forward with uh, so much anticipation for the construction. We look forward to the completion here in a few months. May it be a place of gathering, a place of service for our community, a place where business can come and, and uh, do business uh, in, a, in, a, in an efficient way. We thank you so much for the blessings we see around us in our community. We thank you for our homes, for our families, for our children, for our schools. Lord, the list goes on and on. May we be a grateful people and be so much uh, ever grateful for you this day, February 25th, as we celebrate the beginning of our new city hall. In your name we pray. Amen. Mayor David Mingus. Mark Richards, Mark Richards, Mike. David is what I, when I used to be in trouble. Uh, my mom referred to me as David, but no, no trouble today. Uh, my, my colleagues here, I'm so grateful that you're Commissioner Decker, Commissioner Densberger, Commissioner Jeffers, and Tim is right. Since 2009, I've been looking at his spreadsheets. <laughs> That's when it all started, and the council knows they're lengthy, and uh, <clears throat> I have thrown them away, Tim. I want to welcome each of you and thank you for being here. The city is, is, a, a, is comprised of all you. Uh, never should we ever think that we stand alone, not just with, with our city government, but also as a regional partner uh, to the entire region and each of you who have made this possible. I welcome you. I think it's really important that we recognize where the foundation was set uh, years ago. We have several commissioners, past commissioners, mayors who are here. Betty got a little indignant with me when I asked her to stand. She said, no, she's not dressed for it. Uh, but, but I really want to acknowledge these commissioners because you don't start off uh, where we're at today, uh, it, right now. It, it, it's, a, it's a tradition of 30 years plus of setting a foundation of good leaders, leaders who inspired me uh, to keep the, the vision going. And that's one thing unique about East Peoria. We get a vision and we stick with it and we put, apart, we put aside all personal animosities or whatever could get away or get in the way of the vision and we pursue it. So I want to recognize Betty Dotson, Terry Tucker, Henri Terry and his, his beloved wife Dee who was Citizen of the Year uh, this last year, Past Mayor Dick Dotson, Dick, uh, Chuck Williams, Chuck where you at? Chuck, Archie Lyons, Archie's another one that refused to um, Betty Freeman, I, I get that name right. Uh, Archie's another one who refused to uh, stand up here today, so uh, instrumental. Archie used to, at the council, he was so particular that I would try to find the areas that Archie was going to find at fault with every agreement. He's that, that good. Um, also, I'd like to recognize uh, today uh, Jim Mamer, Dennis Triggs, Chris West, who've been instrumental in this development. I'd like to also recognize uh, uh, Dave Kaler. Dave, come on up a few minutes, please, or a few seconds. Dave rallied for how many years, Dave? Several. <laughs> Several years to get $26 million for this project that really set it. Uh, and not only did he rally uh, the legislators, bipartisan, he also rallied uh, organized labor. This is all built 100% organized labor, so you have a partnership between public, private, and uh, 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 organized labor. And it went uncontested, really, in every way. So say a few words today. Well, thank you, Mayor. Yeah, thank you, and the commissioners and uh, all of you who uh, uh, made this day uh, possible because uh, really the, uh, the legacy of East Peoria is that you've had a history of just excellent leadership. Uh, and I, I want to take you back about, it's been over 10 years ago, and, and, and Dick, I don't know if you were mayor then, but I remember standing out on a flatbed uh, semi-truck uh, Senator George Shadid at that time uh, took me along, and we went out there and we uh, did a... Uh, 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 a groundbreaking, didn't we? Uh, uh, let's see, who was the who was the governor then? Oh, it's somebody we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't. 
but it, but it takes a while for an idea like that to happen, and it's because of your perseverance. Uh, it's because we had the fortune of uh, passing the capital bill, and and uh, you had uh, Technology Boulevard uh, on the books, ready to go, and uh, so I was just happy to play a part in that. But uh, really, it's the uh, it's the legacy of, of uh, just excellent leadership that you have in this community that uh, that shows that you're you're continuously on the move. And I just want you to know that I spend a lot of money in this district. Uh, if you look at my Costco bill or my Lowe's bill or Kroger's bill, I'm trying to help you out in every way. Thank you, Dave. All right. Next, a, a good friend who I dearly love, somebody who really loves the city. He was on the council at the time when all this began as far as the development agreements and the library. Mike Eunice, come forward, please. Mike, say a few words. Well, thank you, Mayor Mingus. Congratulations to you and uh, to all the council. Uh, it is uh, great to be a part of another fantastic day in the city of East Peoria. And uh, we truly have had just wonderful leadership uh, in the city of East Peoria through uh, the past several decades. And it's, it's really neat to, uh, to be a part of that and to see so much uh, continued growth I saw Henry uh, Vickery was here from Caterpillar a, a little bit ago, and um, you know, just hearing that great announcement that we had just across the river on Friday is only going to be even more beneficial uh, to the city of East Peoria. So I look forward to uh, even more uh, great news and, and more uh, good things to come uh, from the city of East Peoria, and I'm proud to be a part of this and uh, just proud to stand here uh, today with the council and uh, with the mayor and uh, just uh, congratulations to everyone. It's, uh, it's a great day in, in East Peoria. And, and Dave, the only thing I can say is, you know, the Senate is uh, off right now. I'm going to be heading to Springfield uh, because uh, unlike the Senate, I guess the Senate has, uh, has solved all of the state's problems and doesn't have, to, doesn't have to be in. But I'll be uh, heading to Springfield, Dave, to uh, uh, try to uh, fix anything else that you haven't yet. So. Thank you again, everyone. It's, it's great to be with you and uh, look forward to talking uh, with more of you and, and seeing more progress uh, here in the city of East Peoria for years to come. Thank you very much. Senator Darren LaHood, come up, Darren. I said I was going to have Darren LaHood talk, and Mike said he wasn't around then. <laughs> but, but it's important for you to, that you're here today. Uh, this isn't your district, but you're part of our district. And, Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mayor. Well, thank you very much. Well, uh, Mike, I appreciate you mentioned the Senate. If they left it up to Dave and I, I think we'd solve our problems pretty quickly in the state of Illinois. Uh, but again, congratulations to you, Mayor Mingus, and the commissioners here. What a wonderful day for East Peoria and for our community. And, you know, the decision last Friday by Caterpillar was really a renaissance moment for Peoria. Probably the most important decision for our area in the last 50 years. And then to build on what you are doing in East Peoria as part of our regional uh, plan here is really awesome and this is one part of it here today and really what this is about is about the future and you know I have three young kids and you guys have grandkids and kids and what we're doing here in East Peoria in the city is about the future of Central Illinois and we have a great thing going here and things like this just don't happen overnight it takes leadership from uh, Senator Kaler, Representative Eunice, and the commission here. Leadership, commitment, and dedication to our community. And I look forward to continuing to be a part of that and improve our community. Thank you very much. We are so blessed to have legislators who really work hard for us each and every day in a bipartisan way, and, and we, we just can't express enough thanks. Diane Oberhelben, where you at, Diane? I hear you're, you're here somewhere. Diane's been instrumental as far as our, our master developer. This is a fantastic day in the history of our city. The Levy District has begun a new era of development in our city. It is appropriate we incorporate a new city hall dedicated to the highest level of service to our residents. And I can't say that enough. A new city hall that will be 9,000 square feet at a cost of $2 million. A new city hall that has already enough financial commitments from the sale of the current city hall and the old library to pay for 50% of the project. The remaining balance will be paid for from revenues generated on those sites. That's a pretty impressive picture, folks. A city hall where departments will be under one roof, truly enhancing the efficiency and cost effectiveness for our residents and staff. A new city hall where staff will have a positive work environment they truly deserve. No more water flooding front entrances during the rainstorms. No more water streaming from restrooms that mysteriously flood, both at the same time, generally. 
No more unexplained power outages or leaks from the roof, and I could go on and on, but won't. On behalf of the City Council, I thank you staff. And would you please be recognized, all staff? Would you stand, please? Terry, you too. <laughs> this is one of the most important parts of this whole message today. We thank you for your patience and diligence to serve our residents each and every day in a professional manner, dedicated, despite disparities that you encounter particularly the old city hall, but that's gonna change. Are you ready to shovel some dirt? Let's do it.